Welcome back to the D.C. Sports Guys. All right, we talked about uh, Redskins today, Capitals, Maryland, both uh, football and We're basketball. sorry for boring you and <laughs> me being depressing about it. Sorry. Yes, anyway. I'm sorry. I am so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now, now we're up to uh, final segment of the show. We're going to run through uh, just the NFL the past week, and then any other uh, stories that uh, we want to comment on. But let's start with the NFL. Uh, I so that, Kevin. I okay. Just wanted to see. We were just talking. Hot clicks on SI.com. Right. Just made the following statement. Uh, he says that Joe Buck and Tim McCarver have been excellent tonight. Yeah, that's. I haven't I haven't actually listened to the game because we've been doing the show. We have it on in the studio, though. We can peer over at it and watch it as we're doing the show. Which apparently, it's more and, exciting uh, than the Ravens game. It, it's the World Series. Well, I would watch it. No, I would watch regular season football oh, over, over World it's Series. More exciting than the Ravens game because the Ravens game apparently the Ravens there's game no offense. is working its way towards uh, Seattle, Cleveland. <laughs> yes. Spectacularness. Six right. to zero, all field goals. Congratulations. Yes. I do have to say, if the World Series goes to seven games, I will be watching the Capitals game that night. Yes, but but as, as Jeremy said, I can tell without being able to hear yes. a word that they're saying it's that that untrue. statement is completely that's what false. I was about. That's what false. I was trying to get to. Can't hear a word of it, but I know that's not true. Anyway, so Jimmy Trainer, unfollow. Unfollow. <laughs> <laughs> you should just tweet at him. You are correct. I just unfollowed you. <laughs> Unsubscribe. Yes. <laughs> Uh, World Series. Maybe we'll get to that too. Uh, what do you guys want to talk about first? You want you want to start with the World Series? Would I just like want to. to start with would the like NFL. to talk about how the sweet baby Jesus, Jim Tebow, was able to bring the All Broncos right, we'll start with back. The NFL. Although he really had nothing to do with God, Jeremy, by the grace of God. Yeah, the fact that he sucked for ninety percent of the game, and then they, the had, they had to get an on, uh, like an onside kick. Yes, uh, it was, which he had nothing to yes. do with, but they certainly believe you he believe is terrible. that he was he was the whole reason why they won the game. It was a crazy chain of fortunate, he fortunate circumstances. Speaking in Denver, uh, got back into it was because he's been blessed by the Lord Jesus. Yeah, speaking in total, totally fantasy football terms, he literally had five points with eight minutes left in that game and finished with thirty points. <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> From a fantasy point of yes. view. Yes. That doesn't happen yeah. unless you're playing the Miami Dolphins, though. Yeah. Uh, and all the analysts it's and everybody's like, yeah. been saying today is like, yeah, for 90-odd-some percent of the game, he looked like what everybody had been criticizing him for. But somehow, they pulled out the victory, you know, at the end. Uh, yeah. The, the c- coach... John Thompson doesn't understand what, what people like to hate on the Tim Tebow. I go, really? Because it appears everyone wants to love all over him and anoint him as the savior. Merrill Hodge went over like a litany of his release, like how long it takes him to release the football. And my God, does it take forever. Even if he has the ball, even if he's running around with the ball up near his shoulder, he brings it back all the way down to below his waist before he starts his windup again. <laughs> John Madden would call that a pirouette. No one around him. <laughs> For no apparent reason. Under no pressure at all. Just, Just he has no idea what he's doing back there. Bill yeah. Walton tweeted, you know, if he could, you know, read a defense, make a throw, do this or that, he'd make a really good quarterback, that Tim Tebow. <laughs> I mean, ask yourself. Because Zabin retweeted that, and I was like, that is... Hilarious. If he if he's so bad at being a quarterback. You know what that means? The we should, there must be something going on. A we higher should, power involved. <laughs> we should totally trade for Kyle Orton. There you go. Oh, I would, oh, I would take Kyle Orton over either of the quarterbacks the, we I have I would in take Neckbeard. I would take neckbeard Kyle Orton for a six round draft pick. Stinky, yeah. gross Kyle Orton. Right now. Right over You want Kyle Orton right now? Yes, right now. You want him right now? Yes. You go a six round Tomorrow. pick right now. Yes. In a heartbeat. Easy. Over gross winner back. Just for the rest of the season. I've seen Orton play. He's hands because down. Because Kyle Orton is going to get this team into the playoffs. He's hands down huh. better than what we have. At least he will put a better product on the field. He'll make it watchable. Huh. No. That's why I look at it. That's how I look at it. I. Yeah, uh, the problem. Yeah, you're right. Well, TJ's right. The problem. The problem with that is, 
it's a dumb move because Kyle Orton is also not the quarter. He's he's, he's also not the guy who's going to get neck beard. He can do it. Neck beard. <laughs> I think Kyle Orton has been underrated for most of his career. I think career. he's a way better. I think he's a much better quarterback than people give him credit for, as he consistently just te- wins games and puts up decent numbers. Denver is just a terrible Whereas team. Whereas Gross would be garbage. He'd be a fine quarterback when put in the right system. Yeah, I don't think Which any quarterback. Which is quarter- not in Washington D.C. I don't think any quarterback coming in actually. PG County. Is right. <laughs> I don't think any quarterback coming in this year is going to change. It's not going to change anything for this year, that's for sure. Yes, that, that's my point. But maybe if you could get Kyle Wharton for for almost next to nothing, he may not be a bad guy to have on the roster to get you through next year. I don't know. What are the Redskins going to be able to get next year? I don't even know what the free agency looks like for quarterbacks next year. <laughs> But I don't think yeah, it's no one's it. talking about it. I lean more towards that, yeah. If they... If they can get him, uh, see. I, the point is, I don't want to give up. I don't want to give up anything for him. <laughs> you know, maybe just wait till the off season. Then, well, let's bro. see. Brandon Lloyd, get him as a free agent, who is the NFL's leading receiver, was traded away, was traded away from the Broncos for a sixth round pick. So, what could you get Orton for a seventh round pick? A washer machine. G- hey, we'll trade you a ham sandwich. <laughs> I think we should trade the washer machine and a bag machine. of salt and vinegar <laughs> chips. We'll throw in we'll throw in some uh, some you know old bay. Because you guys out in Colorado should like that. That's good. You guys can't get that out there. So get some old. We'll give you a case, a pallet of old bay. <laughs> for Kyle, Kyle Orton. All right. Done. That. I'll do it. It's done. done. Yes. Deal done. All right. What else in the NFL this week? Oh, let's take the old <laughs> look. See here. Oh, well, we mentioned a little bit the uh, Seattle Cleveland game, which I think has been the, the game of the, the year. Yeah. To yeah. date. You know what? I picked up. <laughs> I started and I started Colt McCoy uh, this week because Philip Rivers has uh, not been Philip Rivers esque this year, and I was like, ah, oh, they're playing Seattle. Seattle has Seattle one's not a very good team. Plus, their defense is all kinds of banged up. The Browns should at least be able to score a few touchdowns, and Colt McCoy should at least get a few points. Yeah, no, this was the snooze fest of the year. Was oh god, it was six to three. It was, it was yes, in about the worst football game ever played. Vomit inducing. Yeah. It was so terrible. yeah no that was terrible both teams uh, no one deserved to win yeah. in that game the Cleveland got it but no one deserved to win yeah I mean, we mentioned uh, a little bit the New Orleans Indy game from last night where Indy is clearly uh, just trying to lose all their games the rest of the season because yes. why else would they attempt to run the no huddle offense with <laughs> Curtis Painter at quarterback <laughs> on the road <laughs> in a dome. <laughs> When I'm telling you, his, no one on his team can hear his signals. I said that's it. assuming that they're the right ones, <laughs> because clearly no one knew where to stand. They didn't know when to snap the ball. He didn't know when the ball was coming because it was hitting him in the face while he was looking in another direction. I t- I said at the beginning of the show. I'll say it now. The Indianapolis Colts have already wrapped up luck. They've they've talked to him. They have a house for him. They they've already negotiated the contract. They're just it's a formality. They just need to go 0-16, and, and Andrew Luck needs to declare for the draft. It'll all be worked out. Everybody else is going to be pissed off because he's going to be able to sit for a few seasons while Peyton Manning you know, tutors him on how to become the best quarterback in the league. And then the Colts will be good for the next 10 to 15 years until they need to do this again. I'm going, I'm going to read this uh, description on CBS.com for the last play that just occurred during the Ravens-Jaguars game. <laughs> All right. And you guys tell me what you think this means. Um, DJ Kareem up the middle for no gain. Penalty on the play. Brandon I am Badejo. Disqualification. Four yards. What? Was he thrown at the game? game? That's what I would assume, yeah. And that's a four yard penalty? Half the distance to the goal. Oh, half the distance to the goal. Disqualification. Disqualification. He was thrown out. He was thrown out. He must have been thrown thrown out out of the game. Yeah, that's what it means. Good, good for the Ravens. Good job, guys. Wow. Losing to the Jaguars, by the way. Six to nothing. Six to nothing. Maurice Shins Rue close to getting eight hundred yards. He should, Let's go, MJD. Let's punch, go, buddy. Punch right. this in for a touchdown right here. Uh, to keep That'd it moving, nice. Detroit lost uh, their second game in a row. Detroit lost to Atlanta, yes. Um, and then apparently they, then Atlanta accused Detroit in the line of like taunting Matt yes, Ryan was on the ground. Now, they supposedly I, in sprained ankle or whatever. Now, when I heard that he said get the cart, maybe if he needed the cart to get off the field, I don't understand how that's taunting. 
And by the way, when they act like it's a big story on ESPN and go, what can they do to fix this? Nothing. Who cares? They're, they're grown men young at each other. It matters not. I can't believe he said, did you like that? I mean, unless he cursed at him and called him like a cracker. I mean, wh- who cares? <laughs> what, what does it matter? <laughs> Bill Ronowski was grabbing dudes junk in piles, <laughs> breaking fingers and spitting on people. They did nothing to stop that. <laughs> nothing. But this is the big deal, the taunting. They're grown men. They who cares? Be- they have to behave like gentlemen, Jeremy. Yeah. <laughs> Go out there and rip that dude's head off, but be gentlemanly about it. That's who right. cares? It doesn't matter. It's ridiculous. And yeah, I think it's a beast. He wants to, if he wants to eat you in the field, then he'll eat you on the field. That's nothing you're going to do about it. It's really not. Yeah, I mean, he's a, he t- he's a take-no-prisoners kind of guy, and that's just the way he is. So when he's out there, he's out to— he, Apparently that's the way it's might, been his whole career when he was he, in Nebraska. He, he might actually way. be out there to hurt you. So that's watch, what, what watch, was, watch th- out. What was he goes when he's on the field, he's not looking like the— the injury, but he wants to—he wants to hurt you on the field. Like he wants to yeah. hit you so hard that it hurts. Yeah, I mean, he's one Which of those is guys. What's going to happen, by the way, when you're 300 pounds and you hit dudes, you're going to hurt them. That's it's kind of like that's that. that's going to hurt. It's Taylor type mentality. He's just out there to absolutely wreck somebody. Yes, and that's the way. To, and that's how. That's why he's better than. That's why he's better than you. That's why he's <laughs> the best defensive lineman <laughs> in football. Right. So, but Detroit. Falls in that game. Atlanta gets a bit. I think that's a that's a huge win for Atlanta this week. It is uh, to keep them on pace uh, with the Saints. It'll be interesting when those two actually get to uh, play each other. Yes, anyway. but I, I I think this week just showed again how many like really bad teams there are in the NFL this year. There's a lot of really bad teams. Yeah, for the most part, uh, it was you know all the fa- almost all the favorite teams won. Uh, the only favorite teams that didn't win, uh, Detroit. Detroit. Detroit didn't win. Miami was actually favored. Miami I, and Denver are both terrible. They're both. Uh, I, I, I don't know how. Neither of them are, neither neither them are a good team. This is quite the week so. of matchups of just yeah. terrible teams. Yes. And Kansas, somehow, City, Kansas City and Oakland. Somehow Oakland was favored. That doesn't make they, any they sense no either. Because they're at home, that's why they were favored. At I the guess. black hole, that's why. Because Kansas favor- City, have you seen them play this year? They're terrible. Yeah, but Oakland had and, a quarter. They brought in a quarterback literally from his from his lounge chair or whatever he was doing. Yeah. Didn't know the playbook, doesn't know his receiver. Hasn't even met anybody on the team. Yeah, you're starting this week, by the way, in I a few see. days. So. No, no. They started Kyle, Kyle Bowler. And oh, they, they were, started Kyler Bowler. Okay. They, were, they started Kyle Bowler, and then he got hurt. And right, he got hurt. Sorry. Yeah. Right, and so yeah, then Carson Palmer. And they still had going into the game. They had McFadden run DMC, but he got hurt. So I mean, there was a bunch of other stuff going on. So that's why they were the favorites. Anyway, all right. So I mean, those are really, but those are that's it. That's it. Otherwise, it's all favorites. And if you were favored this week, you won, basically. Uh, so you, you want to talk about Chicago and Tampa Bay played over in London? Were you yeah. even aware of that? That's, I was. I was. They made a big it's deal terrible. about it this year, actually. I turned, I turned that game on, and I was like, why is it so dark it's, in Tampa Bay? Apparently, it's going so well that they might go up to two games a year in England as soon as next year. They're retarded. Do they not? It's like, it's like, it's like when, you know. They sell out. When, when so- well, yeah, it's like when soccer comes over to the States, and it sells out. Like when they have the spectacle. The Premier League, because it can't sustain it. it only, people only care because it's only here once a year. If you if you throw it down there, the people in, they don't care about football. They're not. They do not care. They do not care. But when you got teams like you know Jacksonville, and they said like Chicago, and Jacksonville, Tampa, and uh, who else? You know Tampa Miami. Makes sense the Glazers own that. Right. <laughs> you know you, you've got you got teams like Jacksonville, Miami that can't fill their stadium I think it's on stupid. a week to week basis. Yeah. You could take them and ship them over to England for a week. I think it's and you stupid. Get a guaranteed sell. I think it's retarded. And I don't like it one bit. A team I don't, has, I don't teams, like it one bit. Teams have to lose a a, a, bio, a, a home a home game. Yes. Right? That's. But the NFL makes if bank, that was the, Redskins, the NFL makes bank off of it. If you if you were if you were still te- seeing ticket holder and that's going the to Redskins, happen. it's going to happen. How angry would you be? Don't, don't worry, Jeremy. Uh, I mean, the really, NFL, the NFL's greed will eventually <laughs> destroy it. And then you won't have any football to watch at all. Well, see, I can't Not have in the that. next, like, ten years, but it eventually. It will I eventually happen. That. I'm aware that that will happen. Yes. And all, I'll be, all great and I'll, empires eventually collapse. And I will cry. 
I will be a grown man I in my not, bedroom by myself. I will not shed a tear. Crying. I'll send you a text message to cheer you up. Not surprisingly, I picked Tampa Bay to win that game. Uh, they did not. Uh, Chicago comes out on Your top. Your pure hatred for Jay Cutler. Pretty much. Yes. Pretty much. I, and I didn't think they were going to do well. I mean, I just thought Tampa Bay, I mean, they've, they've had up and down weeks this year, but I thought Tampa, you know, Tampa, I mean, it was only 24-18, but uh, I thought Tampa actually had a good shot to win that game. But, no, Chicago wins the game over in England, and uh, the NFL likes how it's going. So uh, I think it's going to continue for quite some time, much to Jeremy's chagrin. I think it's for stupid. It's not going to expand your fan base. No one cares. One game, it doesn't bring in any more money in. S- Steve Zabin just tweeted. Steve Team, awful game. ESPN pay Monday Night Football to show it. NFL thinks it's bulletproof. We will see. <laughs> By the way, that's a sweet picture of Zabin on there. <laughs> on the Twitter. Yeah, he's got some hair. It's ridiculous. <laughs> All right, what are we going to close the show with? We've been kind of dragging this last segment. We're hey, pulling. Kevin, I think we're just finally getting started. Oh, yeah? we got another hour in us? No, this is it. This, this is, is, this <laughs> is at the, just at the show. <laughs> this is it. World Series is on right now, so I know this has been kind of a lame NFL segment, but... Uh, Let's comment on the World Series just to end. We got uh, right now, we got top of the eighth, St. Louis, Texas, all knotted up at two. Uh, series knotted up, by the way, also. Also at two. Where do you think uh, this is headed? Pools, by the way, three homers the other night. Absolutely ridiculous. He is uh, very good. So at happy when, he, baseball. when he's a Nat next year. What do you think about him? <laughs> uh, do you guys care when he you know, makes a crucial error in the game that? Costs the Cardinals the game and then doesn't talk to the media afterwards. It's his prerogative. And tries to blow it off as, oh, they didn't tell me that the media was out there. Because, <laughs> you know, sometimes sometimes they aren't there. There's what, a language barrier. He speaks Spanish. Yeah. He may have not understood. Yeah, the media never wants to talk to Albert Pujols. That's why I hear it work. That's, 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 that's things I get at the, at, the, at the part-time jobs of, well, Jimmy, they're Mexican. They don't understand what you're saying. I go, really? Today they didn't understand what I'm saying. Yeah, right. Sure. <laughs> when I tell him I like to do something, <laughs> then they don't understand. <laughs> Same thing. He's like, ah, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I didn't know they're out there. Sorry. No one told me. They, oh, they said in English. That was a, that was the problem. <laughs> They didn't. They didn't translate. There was. I believe Dave barrier. Ortiz has done has pulled that same. I do not thing understand. A million times. Yeah, I do not I speak know. English. Yes, he do, he doesn't understand. But when he gets robbed of an RBI, he comes in screaming at Terry Francona during a press conference. <laughs> right. <laughs> Beer when he was <laughs> fantastic. Yes, nice job. All right, well, I think we're done for the day. I think we're all talked out. All we're right. up to our two-hour mark anyway. Good. So, uh, we, did we even mention? Really, the World that's Series? all that matters. I we brought up the, the World Series, and then we didn't even go anywhere with it. Uh, who's going to win? I don't know. I really so, who's I, winning? Who's winning? Who's going to win this game? Who's going to win this game? I, I think. This, I take Texas. I still take Texas. Texas. All right. At least I got that out of you. I think we're done. I think it's seven games. Texas is going to win tonight. I usually watch the World Series, but I'm I'm all Caps mode right now. If it goes to Thursday night, I will be watching mostly Caps game. Flipping back and forth. They will get intermission time. But that's it. Yep. The television difficulties that I have in my house, where if it's not a team that I openly root for, at all? Even if it's like the World Series? Uh, Night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's no television time. I can't stand. I can't stand. Go work out. Go to the gym. Go to the gym. There you go. Watch it at the gym. I just go drive her out. Just drive. <laughs> <Take. laughs> Wasting gas. Like you're like you're in high school and you just got your license. I got just this drive, thing. Just drive. Got to use it. Got to go drive somewhere. All right. Is there around scenic or scenic Montgomery County? <laughs> Lots of back roads. <laughs> you can find the beltway. Just take cruise. <laughs> oh, it's a circle. Never mind. I'll, I'll get back go. here eventually. Oh, oh. oh there's it's traffic. It's, it's 930 <laughs> at night. Why, why is there traffic? I need to go back home. <laughs> all right. Well, that's all we have for today. Uh, send us what you think uh, about uh, anything going on. The Redskins, Capitals, NBA lockout if you must. 
uh, the Terrapins, anything. Send it on into mailbag at dcsportsguys.com. Uh, you can also let us know what you think on Twitter and Facebook. It's all at www.dcsportsguys.com. Just click on the socialize link right up there in the top menu bar. That is all we have for today. So for Big J and TJ, this is Kevin McGrath saying, gentlemen, we're history. <laughs>